I am very grateful for the timely opportunity granted to me to share my thoughts and expectations pertaining to the splendid legal development in the form of commercial courts and to canvass some suggestions and proposals as to the way in which the courts can best meet the needs of the dispensation of justice and strengthen the rule of law. Ladies and gentlemen, today is 11th September, the day of the death of Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah. I think this is the best occasion to first remember his words, which still provide us guidance. So let me remind you his words, which he said on 28th of December 1947. He said, We are going through fire. The sunshine has yet to come. But I have no doubt that with unity, faith, and discipline, we will compare with any nation of the world. Are you prepared to undergo the fire? You must make up your minds now. We must sink individualism and petty jealousies and make up our minds to serve the people with honesty and faithfulness. We are passing through a period of fear, danger, and menace. We must have faith, unity, and discipline. These are the words which subsequently became our national motto, that is faith, unity, discipline. I have no hesitation in saying that it is this motto which led us in the formation of commercial courts. Now let me explain the fate of my institution, the discipline in the judiciary, and as to whether we are united to bring economic prosperity in the country. It is a matter of common experience that one of the difficult tasks with which a person is confronted in his daily life is decision making. When person avoid this task, the matter comes to the court which ultimately makes decision and that too in public. It is also a reality when a decision is delayed in courts, the human activities are disrupted which adversely affects economic life of a state and that culminates into abject poverty. Needless to say, then when poverty takes its roots, the prosperity, happiness and welfare of the people is eclipsed. It is for this reason, it is frequently said, that judiciary is a vital factor in the rule of law and more broadly in economic development. An effective, efficient, honest and sound judiciary is essential for economic development. In other words, with the, in other words when a bad judicial system, economic development will be slow and non-existent. We are conscious of this reality and thus my institution believes that any system which by giving effect to the form and not to the substance defeats substantive rights is defective to that extent. The ideal must always be a system that gives to every person what is his. This has been said by Supreme Court way back in 1963 in Imtiaz Ahmed case. Being guided by this faith and the liberal globalized order which has brought increased focus on the regulation of international congress and especially dispute resolution, we have established commercial courts in Punjab. The commercial courts mechanism with innovative feature aimed at providing expedited justice is witnessing much traction. Lahore High Court, through development of establishing specialized dispute resolution mechanism in the form of commercial courts for commercial disputes, has exhibited the resolve to help improve the procedure for enforcement of contracts. This initiative, in my opinion, would improve investor confidence and reduces delays by separating the commercial disputes from the civil disputes and prescribing the timeline for the resolution.